This is my 2020 NS Eccentric build. I've been wanting to get my hands on this frame for a year now. I wanted to see for myself if there was really something to steal is real, or if it was just hype. When the dropper post I was waiting on finally arrived, it was time to get it out on the trail and see. I took the bike to the trails at Lake Thunderbird, which has a good mix of flat pedaling, climbs, descents, chunks, and features, so I should be able to get a good feel for the bike. This is also my first time on a bike with the progressive long, low, and slack geometry. It didn't take long to get used to it, and by the time I got to the end of my first ascent, I could really tell what it was all about. Dropping into the gold trail felt great. All of the drops felt buttery smooth on landing and due to the low standover and the long reach, I could really get low in the attack position and it felt so stable. Oh yeah. The confidence I had in the bike made me decide to hit the jump at the end of this feature that I normally roll. Probably should have rolled it this time too. Ugh. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, back after uh, straightening the old bars. <laughs> Gotta go around and do that again now, though. A little redemption. Not gonna send it that time. <laughs>
the length of the bike and the slack head tube angle, I had concerns about how it would handle in tight turns. It handles them just fine. got caught under a root and it stopped me cold. Now that walk back up there again. Seat down. All right, let's take a look at this one. So I was here the other day and forgot to turn on my camera when I did this. Much to my disappointment. So I never attempted anything this gnarly before. And I got it on my first try and it did it a couple times. Feeling good. Went home. Realized I didn't have my camera on. So now I'm back. Do it again. <laughs> yes, conquered on film. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to walk this climb. No shame.
At the end of my first ride on my eccentric build, I had a few observations and some questions answered. Will it climb well? Yes. Will it be maneuverable in tight spaces? Yes. Will it pedal well in the flat? Yes. Observations I had? Steel is real. Bike is really smooth. Rocks and trail chatter were soaked up by the tires and frame making for a very comfortable ride. My alloy frame truck Roscoe is also a very comfortable bike, but this is a step beyond. The long reach makes for a very roomy cockpit. I feel like I am sitting in the bike rather than on it, especially in the attack position. I feel like I am behind the front wheel rather than out over it like on some of my other bikes. For me, that makes for a more confident feeling ride. The more comfortable you are, the more you can relax. Being relaxed and confident allows you to progress faster as a rider. Thanks for watching and see you on my next adventure.